bit of video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you uh, some parts of a really good plugin set called Art Blue. Now, you can find it on the Amazon Canvas website. There's some features that are in one version and not other. So, uh, basically, just go over the trial version, read all the comments on the website. Best thing. Now, just going to show you the features that I really like. The first feature that I'm going to go through in, in a number of videos that is the custom shapes. Now, custom shapes are normally in Photoshop. So, if you've got uh, Photoshop, you've got a CSH file, they're presets, custom shape presets, which are vectors. And now you can now use them in Illustrator using this plugin. Now, it's really quite nice. So, you've got this palette. Now, the ones here are all graphic extras, arrow designs, they're various shapes off my website. Now, what you can do is actually you've got a load shapes. You go to the right side and you've got load shapes. Now, these ones are all various shapes files, obviously, that come with Photoshop preset. They've actually been converted to its own format, which is an ECS format. Now, it only works with, I think, with CS6 CC version format custom shapes. So if you've got uh, earlier, which like version 6, which my ones are version 6, very early format. They're currently not supported. So anyway, that's one uh, one issue that uh, it's not a major problem. But you can, of course, if you've got Photoshop CC, you can save them to a CSH format that this will be able to convert. Right, that's one just issue that you've got, certainly got to remember. Right, got the shapes here that have been loaded. And obviously, I could select one of the ones, that default ones there. But what I'm going to do, you can also save your own. So if you've got this palette, you can actually say save as ECS. Now that saves it to the application and support folder on your user account, which is quite nice, as well as import format, as well as export your own CSH file. So if you actually do some, make some various shapes, save it in here, you can export those and they can be then read in Photoshop. Really, really great feature as well. Now, I've got some custom shapes I've already created. Now you'll notice that they're not what you'd consider custom shapes, because obviously they've got stroke and fill. So they're slightly different, a bit like library feature in Illustrator. See, you know, the creative cloud libraries. So that's, that's quite nice. But so what you can do, go over here to the custom shape tool, just over here. It's got a number of other options like rectangle, ellipse, like the custom shape tool, you've got all those options in Photoshop and custom, as well as triangle, which is a nice addition. Now, once I've created there, so what it does, you can actually just click there. there's a little indicator there and you can actually make it as the appearance you've got there so if you do that you can see imply there now if I go over there and deselect that and then I'm just not going to go with that one but I'm going to go with blue or maybe black so I'm just going to go with black now when I actually apply them they're in black so they it ignores that uh, appearance I can select that one and just the standard sort of custom shape. So you've got the appearance based on up here, which is really nice. So you can set the stroke and all those sort of things. And obviously the color to maybe go for to yellow. Okay, so obviously once you if you actually created something like that and you think, oh, I want to save it, of course you can get go to add shape and just give it a name. Test two. And then it will appear over here. It's really great, nice little feature, and you've got a number of options. I'm just, I'm just going to quickly show you that. So you've got that. I'm just going to select that one there. So you add. There's that shape there, and of course again, like applied, like over here. And you'll notice on this, you've got a palette over here called Art Matrix. That's available via the window and Art Matrix. So just open the panel there, and you'll notice there's an options for angles. So you can actually do a few minor very and there's also lots of other things you can do with it. There's all various geometric transformations and colour effects. Really, really good. But I'll do that in another video because obviously that would just go on. So you can actually do things like here, constrain things, say 45, you can set the angle 45. So if you apply it, you'll notice it actually applied at an angle of 45, which is really nice as well. And like I say you've got these other options as well to that you can use as well. Right, so that's a basic run through of this really, really nice feature. Of course, you've got other options as well. Hope you found this of interest.